AK-12 was rank five? Bro, there was stun grenades and smoke grenades. There's like no shotgun category for some reason. Oh, the sound design. We've also got things like the AK-50. What is up with this model? What's up with the front sight, dude? Why does it look like that? Phantom Forces is a game that has been around since about 2014. It's changed a lot from a handful of blocks shifting to now still being one of the most consistently played FPS games on all of Roblox, and one of the few old Roblox games to stand the test of time and still receive a decent amount of updates. That's not to say it hasn't had its fair share of bad updates or game-breaking changes or differences in metas. However, there is one very consistent thing that a lot of people seem to think, and that is that old Phantom Forces was better. And today, I intend to try to answer that statement for you and find out if old Phantom Forces truly was better than it currently is. So come with me on today's adventure as we check out some old Phantom Forces versions, plus the original test place with some never released weapons and some more recent versions of the game too. And of course, if you end up enjoying the video, please do subscribe as we're trying to hit 200k by the end of the year. But with that said, let's get into today's video. So the first thing that we're going to start with here is going to be Phantom Forces 2015 edition. And of course, as we get into this, I will definitely say I do not endorse anybody stealing or reusing any kind of code for this game or any other game like it. However, because as they are up on Roblox, it does give us the chance to go back and take a look at some older versions. 2015 game of the year, yes, that is right, it was. By the way, this is the oldest version of Phantom Forces that I could find on Roblox, so this is the version that I basically started with originally. This is kind of how it looked whenever I had started playing the game. And if there's one thing that I do remember, it is the exceedingly long startup times. You could just, oh god, it just took forever to load into, into every single match. And you can see that the, the windows are like made of these glass squares and you can see as well our model here is just so dated the map is so dark unfortunately but like look at those iron sights man listen to the sounds honestly you know what i like this sound effect more than i do the modern m4a1 that just sounds so nice but recoil is just so heavy too you hear those walk sounds as well let's see what we got for the grenades just a little bit of a throw god the old m9 model too this is that is something there. That is something. We do still have super jumping, interestingly enough, but it's very, like, fast. Like, gravity is extremely high. The muzzle flash, too, is just, like, the most generic, like, <laughs> PNG muzzle flash of them all. Though I will say, this version of Maul is absolutely in freaking credible. <laughs> I love how open this hill is down here. But enough of, like, in-game. What do we have for the actual UI and everything? So, I do like the fact that we have this, like, full-on background a little bit more. I do love how this looks. But you can see we've got... Oh, I think these might be... Oh, wait, hold on. How do we... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yes. Oh, man. This is this is old. This is oh, old. My goodness. We don't have nearly the amount of, like, choices that we... I mean, look at the carbine category, bro. We had three choices here. AK-12 was rank five? It wasn't a default... There Was there no default assault rifle unlock? Oh, my God. That's crazy. We got an MP5K as a default... Let's, let's equip this. Let me spawn in with this. Oh my god, look at the model. Look at the hands, too. They're so blocky, man. <laughs> oh, the sound design. I, dude, I love it. I cannot help but love it, bro. Imagine if we had conversions for these to, like, make them the old models with the old sounds and stuff. Wouldn't that be so interesting? I've only got a handful of secondaries as well. There's no multiple, like, categories for them. It's just a, just all in this one category. <laughs> the M60 being the default unlock. Ah, oh, isn't this crazy that we just got a revamp of this model? Like, it is this old. Intervention default too. Yeah, I mean, there's, like, so, much so many interesting things in here. But one of my favorite things is the options category, which has nothing. You just got some sensitivity options. No FOV, no, like, blood toggle, nothing like that. Just sensitivity and some render quality, which doesn't really seem to change anything. But yep, so that is pretty much going to be it for this version of Phantom Forces. It's very basic. It's like you get the most general kind of Phantom Forces experience, basically. It's kind of what you'd expect from like an old Roblox FPS. The next one that we're going to be taking a look at here is a little bit closer to around 2016, 2017-ish, and that's going to be Phantom Forces CTE. Now, what CTE is, is Community Test Environment. So this is like the OG version of the test place. Now, this unfortunately, Stylus no longer has on the their group. So this is one that, again, you have to unfortunately access through random re-uploads on Roblox, which again, I do not endorse, but while they're there, it allows us to have an archived view of Phantom Forces, as it once was. It might look a little bit goofy. <laughs> Trust me, I know. But you'll be a little bit more familiar with, like, the way that the UI and stuff looks. And personally, I really used to hate navigating this menu. It's just, there's, like, everything just feels so off and, like, nothing is, it's just, there's no organization or anything like that. 
But again, if you've been... Oh, that just disappeared. Oh, it's back and it's gone again. Okay, no idea what's happening there. I'm something something invisible is blocking me. No idea. Truly peak Phantom Forces right here. But you can see though that this is a little bit closer, like I said, to a version of Phantom Forces. If you played within the last couple of years, though, it's still gonna be pretty obvious the differences here. First of all, again, the arm is really like messed up and just old looking and blocky, and this oh my god, what's going on there? The fonts are all weird. It almost looks like a like a knockoff, like a Chinese mobile version of Phantom Forces or something. But the cool thing about this is that you're getting a little bit more of that like Phantom Forces experience with the UI and with the movement and stuff, which is a little bit, it feels like maybe it's a tad faster, but still not very, very fast. I love the footstep sounds too. They sound so nice. But of course, because it is an older version of Phantom Forces Test Plays, there are some test items in here that never actually got released to the main game. But one of the weapons that we have that we never got to see added to the main game is going to be the AK-15. Now, we have the older kind of stat screen. We don't have the grid, like the graph thing where you can see like exactly how much damage you're doing up to what distance. But we can see that the stats on this do look pretty solid. It's got some wild recoil. But the sound design for it is so nice. Is this the, I think this is the old AK-12 BR sound design or sound effect. But I love to, I used to love how Phantom Forces does the, uh, did the irons with like the, the, like the LEDs where everything kind of lit up. It made the game almost feel like a little bit futuristic, but we still have that like generic kind of like muzzle flash. We've also got things like the AK-50, which is kind of exactly what it sounds like. Crap tons of damage, insane fire, but a tiny magazine capacity. This would be a really fun thing to test out in modern day Phantom Forces. It's so sad that we never got to see the AK-50 added because I feel like this would have been such a good weapon, if not a ton OP. We've got the AR-1550, which is effectively what we have now in like the Beowulf ECR. Man, look at how tiny the carbine category is. Oh my God. The old Desert Eagle. Oh my God. We have the rail gun in here too, for some reason in the sniper category. I doubt this was ever actually going to be added as a weapon, but you know, it's there, I guess. Bro, there was stun grenades and smoke grenades. Let's check out the smoke grenades. I'm very curious. Okay. That is that is not a smoke grenade. <laughs> and I imagine that the stun will probably also just kind of be the same thing that they just maybe never did. I don't want it to kill me. I'm just very curious what the stun is like. <laughs> okay. Okay, the stun grenade does way too much damage. But otherwise, this version of Phantom Forces is very cool. It's just like one of those lost to time things where it's like, you can, it's that intermedium between current Phantom Forces and like super OG Phantom Forces. Our next one is actually going to be one that is in the official Stylus Studios Roblox group. This is an official one supported by Stylus. And what this effectively is, is like pre-current version of Phantom Forces, but with a hundred player lobbies. <laughs> now this one is going to just look a lot more bare bones because this is really been stripped. There's a lot of stuff that's just removed. Like I don't believe Yeah, There's like no shotgun category for some reason. This isn't so much a playable version of Phantom Forces as it is just like a weird thing where they test out random code and stuff. I believe. I don't know if there's much other use for it. I mean, you can see just how like how much weapon sway there was when you're, when you're running, it's almost disorienting. There's another guy in here. He's level zero. What is he doing in here? Bro. What are you doing? Now he's level seven all of a sudden. What is happening? And you can see too that we've got some of the older weapon models too. Like I want to find an example of something that's gotten a remodel, but well, I guess the AK-12 now. <sighs> As of last update, which I did a video on the other day, if you'd like to check that out, I definitely recommend it. There's some cool stuff in the main game, but anyway, AK-12, yeah, that's an old model for that. I believe that the G-17 has an updated model as well. I don't think it's this. This just looks way too ancient. God, those iron sights too. Look at that. And then of course we have some older sleeves too, but they're a little bit more, they look a little bit more rounded out or a little bit more detailed, at least in the watch, bro. The watch goes hard. Though we do still have, like, we don't have the jump sliding that like, even the previous versions how we could jump and press C to be able to jump slide. We do still have super jumping, of course. Gravity is maybe not as high as the previous versions. God, the arms just swaying like this looks ridiculous. What is up with this model? What's up with the front sight, dude? Why does it look like that? There's another guy in here now. He's, there's a couple guys in here. Okay. Oh, and of course you can see too, one of the first things that you would have noticed uh, with the other versions, if there was anyone in those games. And that is that everyone used to be bald. If you're a newer player, you might not realize that, but up until around two or three years ago, everybody was bald. It was just always like that. For some reason, people were always just bald. Are you okay? Are you okay, bro? Oh, he's mad. He's mad at me now. Okay. Oh yeah. Also, there was a lot of blood around the edges of your screen and after you shot people. In Roblox, of course, not real life. 
Honestly, though, I'm happy with how they have it now. Hello, how are you? I'm happy with how they have it now in the main game. He's just going to jump out the window. That's not cool. Where it has like black edges around the screen because it's not as disorienting as the red. I really hated the red that goes around your screen. Though I will say now we have like much more like modern versions of like the glass breaking and stuff. Obviously, we don't have stamina movement or anything that we have in the current game. And there are some changes with the UI. But overall, yes, this is pretty much the most recent old quote unquote version of Phantom Forces that we can play that I can find. This is more akin to like between 2018 and like 20. 2021 Phantom Forces. So this is kind of the go-to version that a lot of people say was better. But again, movement still feels a lot slower. This might just be a thing for the current version of the game, but some of the weapon models are a little bit bugged, like the iron sights on this. Obviously, some of the models are going to be older. The weapon sway is kind of ridiculous. Gravity is just insanely high compared to what we have now. And honestly, while it's still a very fun and nostalgic thing to check out versions like this, I don't by any stretch of the imagination say that this is like the peak Phantom Forces gameplay right here. The so let's go ahead and we're going to take a look at the most recent version of Phantom Forces, aka the main game, and we're going to compare it to those previous versions. Ooh, Roblox is a new install screen. That's weird. There's SpongeBob in it. What the bro? <laughs> huh? So the current version of Phantom Forces, while the initial boot screen and stuff all kind of look similar to some of the older versions with like the update log and stuff like that. Once we load in, you can definitely notice some very stark differences. That being, of course, we have this new UI, which is essentially a guy behind a counter, like an armorer guy, and he's got some guns and stuff behind him instead of like the tank that we had from the previous game or just like a random guy just out in the open standing on a little pedestal and of course we have tons of weapons more stuff has been categorized you can see here we have like different categories of melee so many freaking melees to look at now we do have multiple types of grenades unlike in the cte that had two i guess apparently broken ones we actually have multiple types of different actually functioning grenades we have all kinds of different things with weapon skins maybe not on the grenades like i was apparently trying to do for some reason we also have updated ui with the damage graph where we can see exactly how far we're doing exactly what kind of damage it's been a lot more simplified but you can see your multipliers and stuff here you have two different stats now up in the top you can also test your recoil before spawning in and as soon as you spawn in obviously as of the most recent update you'll see the new freaking lighting it looks uh, pretty okay it's it's got its moments and it can be a little bit laggier but i'd say overall it does look a lot better and movement is in my opinion as fluent and as fast and as incredible it is as it has ever been been. We've got like lower gravity, so you could jump a little bit higher, you could jump a little bit farther. When super jumping, you can get to higher places, it just feels all so much more fluid. But of course, if you've been playing any recent version of Phantom Forces, or you've been playing in the last couple of weeks to months, you'll pretty much know what gameplay is like in this version. Of course, you've also got a server browser, so we could pick and choose the map and stuff that we want to play. We've got the player shop where we can get discounts on all kinds of like different weapons and attachment combos and stuff, blueprints, which occasionally have some okay stuff. I mean, sure, the honey badger skin is kind of cool, but don't know that I'd want to quite use a foul pair of shorty like this. And just overall, we get the most amount of content that we have ever had in Phantom Forces in the most current version, which you would hope for pretty much any FPS game that you would have more content as time goes on. However, is this the best version of Phantom Forces? Hot take, I'm going to say yes. And the reason that I'll say that because I know a lot of people are gonna get mad oh the older versions are still so much better it just felt so much more fun to play i think there's a there's some reasons for that while i'd say this is probably the best iteration of phantom forces we've ever had for me, I don't enjoy it as much as I did some of the older versions, and the reason for that is because the skill gap was so much lower. Back in the day, there was a lot more players, there was a lot more new players, so there was a much more high likelihood of running into noobs or people who weren't as good at the game, compared to nowadays where everybody is a hyper sweat, and it's just, it's very difficult to just kind of play as a casual player. However, this is a trend that plagues every single FPS game out there. I mean, look at Call of Duty, bro. Call of Duty has been completely ruined, it's actually unplayable, and I don't think that there will ever be a fun one ever released again. But with this game, I still have some good moments. I do. I love the fact that I can pick and choose specifically the maps that I want to play. I love the level of customization that we have. I love all the settings that we've got. I love the fact that the people aren't bald anymore, bro. But I could talk all day about the stuff that kind of makes more modern Phantom Forces just that little bit better. Sure, maybe some things aren't as OP as they used to be. Maybe some of the maps aren't as good as they used to be. And just because something gets more content doesn't mean that it's better. 
However, in my view, the older Phantom Forces games, while there's a lot of nostalgia there, overall, the amount of content compared to what we've come to expect out of modern FPS games just isn't there. For the time, they were absolutely incredible, and I think it'd be really cool if maybe for like an anniversary of Phantom Forces, if they would just kind of put like an older version of the game out that's in a playable state. I think that would be a really, really fun thing. So that way people could just kind of, uh, you know, enjoy and reminisce. Kind of like how they did with uh, Call of Robloxia 5, how that's kind of technically playable, and that's an official stylus game but otherwise that's pretty much going to be it for today's video what's your favorite time period in phantom forces history what was maybe your favorite update or your favorite change and what do you think is better older phantom forces or newer phantom forces with that said i hope that you guys enjoyed the rest of your day thank you so much for watching this video it was nice to take a little bit of a trip down memory lane for this game and just kind of experience some of the older versions from around the time that i started playing this game myself back in around 2016 again i hope that you guys enjoyed the rest of your day thank you so much for watching please do subscribe if you learned something new or if you enjoyed the video i greatly appreciate it. I love you guys so much. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Big thanks to all the channel members. You guys are absolutely incredible. And of course, check out the Phantom Forces playlist up on screen to see more videos just like this one. Peace.